All right, you got the picture? Good. Everybody get back to work. So welcome to the Purple Pill Podcast. This is episode 55 of the Purple Pill Podcast. This is my co-host, Darren. What's good? Two shoes, y'all. And this is my other co-host, L.A. What's the Bobby? The Bobby. I did it backwards. Yeah. That's kind of, that's yeah. kind of <laughs> we'll fix it later. But I love the Bobby. But uh, how you guys been doing? It's been a long week, baby. You know, I got a lot more responsibilities at the job. Got a lot more zooms. Got a lot more white people talking to me. So a lot of stress. But we're managing. We're succeeding and we're thriving. How have you been? I've been pretty good. Um, the news. You sound like you deeply thought about something. Yeah, what happened to you? What happened to you a week that you need to share? Offer. Do I need to take really, my glasses I off? Just, uh, just this great football has happened this week. Did you guys hear about Tom Brady? Yeah, Tom Brady retired. Yeah, that was uh, that was unexpected yesterday. That was very unexpected. I was not expecting that to come out that quickly. But like I just said before, I think his wife won the battle. I think his wife won the battle. Y'all need to not blame that woman for anything. She probably loved him being at the house. She can do whatever she wants. Leave that woman alone. But she's been trying to get him to retire. She's been trying to get him to retire. How do you know that? Because. She been, it's like widely reported that she went. She, she shared it on uh, one of those shows, like The View or something like that. I promise you. I promise you. I feel like Eddie's football wife would want their husband not to be getting tackled every day and to retire. That makes sense. That's why I said she won the battle. But, but I feel like it wasn't a battle. Maybe maybe it was a... Who's worth more, do you think? She is. She's worth more? 100%. So why would she want her own? What he, he need to go. He need to go make his own money, right? She's not trying to have him spend all her money. He got the, he got the money. He gonna still make more after football. So still why she want him home? He has I the whole team. I don't. I don't think he's gonna necessarily be home. He's just gonna have more time to be out. Uh, more time. It's not as demand like his other jobs, like TV twelve. I'm guessing that program won't be as demanding demanding as football. Like where you have to be on the road half the games or ha- on the road. The other time you're at practice, you're watching film because you're Tom Brady, the greatest pre-snap quarterback. So, so I think it just takes all that away. Well, what if he goes to a daytime TV show and they they need the they need him there eight out? If you do that and it's at New York, okay, cool. I can still see my do- my kids go to school or be there for their games. That's the thing he's missing. Like, if your son plays football and you play football, you're not going to be at your son's game. Or if he plays something else, you're still going to probably not be there. I mean, are kids really playing football on Sunday nights when he's playing? Or Sunday? Does that matter if you have a game on the West Coast in L.A., but you got to – These people are billionaires, man. I feel like they can figure it out. That doesn't matter when you have a team that you have to be with and you have to prepare for that game. Tom Brady's always prepared. <laughs> All I'm saying is that there's some players you can see that uh, don't have kids and don't see that because or because they're trying to have the longevity of their career before they actually have to worry about that. Uh-huh. Some other how old are his kids? Older? Yeah, I'm guessing like like 15 and up. Probably. Guess like teenagers, preteens. I'm guessing something like that. That's, fair, That's what I, I guess. guess. That's fair. Uh, well, congratulations to Tom Brady. I will not be picking you next year, I guess. So, you know, have fun with Giselle. Hopefully, hopefully, I get a, I get something from you out of it. I was telling Rob that this is the end of an era because if there's like one more quarterback, if he retires, uh, it's a that's Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, um, Eli Manning, and Roethlisberger. If Aaron Rodgers goes to, it's a whole bunch of young quarterbacks. Whole bunch of young quarterbacks. Like those are that. dynasty quarterbacks too. Like those are the only quarterbacks you've seen on those teams for how many years? 
until they retired, obviously. But like twenty years, Tom Brady with the Patriots. He played twenty two seasons. That's so, wild. That's that's why. Mm. What do you think's next for him? Like, what's the next great thing for Tom Brady? Do you think he's just gonna go to TV now? Like movies? You think Tom Brady's gonna go to movies? That'd be dope. No, they make a Space Jam, but like football version. Bro, what you think? I was Tom talking. Brady. That'd be dope. No, I want it. I want to see the football version of Space Jam with Tom Brady. You know that would be terrible, right? No, as opposed to how terrible Space Jam was. You, Come did, on, man. Have you seen Airbud? I, I loved Airbud. I loved Airbud too. But looking looking back on Airbud, Airbud was terrible. Looking back on Space Jam, Space Jam was trash. The first Space Jam was good. They're nah. crazy. It's still good to this day. I watch it. I still watch Airbud. They're both trash. They're trash. Good home films. You're you're tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. I can watch Space Jam. I watched Space Jam not this year. I can't say this year. I watched it last year. I enjoyed it for the nostalgia effects and how it made me feel happy inside. But like, it wasn't because of the effects. It wasn't because of the acting. It was funny at times. The humor was good. I like the humor. I'll give it the humor. Uh, but it wasn't. You talking about the first one? Yeah, it wasn't hitting, bro. Like, talking about? It was good. I'm not saying it's not a classic. Like, it's got a special place in my heart, but it wasn't. It's, I don't know. That movie's not that great to me. Like, if it was a movie, I'd really watch that movie. Was Space Jam in there for you? It's, it's not that's the same, I'm though. sorry. That's that's not an easy thing to say though. I'm, okay, a hundred movies. Exactly. exactly. Like I'm just I'm just saying it's not one of those movies for me. A hundred movies is fun. Now if I personally love love the Little Rascals. I'll put the Little Rascals in my movie in my top one hundred. I'll put the Little Rascals. The I love that movie. The original one. What's the original one? Like in the 30s? No. 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 That's not the original one. Yeah. Yeah. What's with that? It's not the original. The Whoopi Goldberg one. Where, uh, that's, that's just not that's the original. That's the original for me. That's, that's the original for me. For us. That's bullshit. That's, 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 the, that's the most bullshit thing I've ever heard in my life. That's Google not the original. Google the Little Rascals. Google the Little Rascals. Yeah. Let's no, it's it's teach me something new. Just Google with the Little Rascals. Go ahead. Teach me something new. We'll see what pops up first. Look, it popped up. The 1994 film. No, you have to scroll too far down. You have to scroll too far down. It says original. Google tells you. If you just Google the Little Rascals. 1922. 1923. That's not even what it's called. That's a whole different movie. I grew up on the original shit. My dad showed me the original shit. That's a whole different movie. Scroll up. Scroll up. Sunday Call. Like, what are you talking about? It's called Our Game. It's not even a Little Rascals. It's a Little Rascals. It's not called the Little Rascals. But what, it's called our gang. Our gang, also known as the Little Rascals, or bro, they had three different names. It's not the nah. Little Rascals. But when I say the original people know the Little Rascals that I'm talking about. That's, That's not the original. Yes. 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 Look at it. You're outvoting. You're outvoting on this one. You're outvoting. Girl, look. Sorry. Oh, Even I... Google told you it's called our gang movies, nigga. Excuse my French YouTube. But when you type in the the original Little Rascals, what do you get? No, type in the Little Rascals. As soon as you type in the from the Little Rascals, it pops up. Look, it pops up, right? Just, Just put the Little Rascals film, and then we can go to IMDb, and it'll tell you where the source is coming from. How about that? How about that? Donald Trump. He was the one kid that. He was. He was. He was. Like, like a couple weeks, like a couple weeks. Oh, in the past. shoot! He was the one kid that. I forgot. And he's no, go to YouTube. Go to original. Go to, no, original. No, go back. Go back and go to. These are the original Little you, Rascals. No, you see this black kid right Wikipedia. here? You Press see this Wikipedia. black kid right here? Press Wikipedia. That's the original. Wikipedia. Give, give props. Wikipedia. He was doing this in 1920. Do you know what, do you know what they were doing in 1920? Not thinking of the black people. Not when you go to the Wikipedia. Not the I black understand people. What, we understand what you're trying to say, but it's just not its not the case. You see that dog? I do see the dog. Where, what's the, where's that dog from? That dog is from Hutchins in Schools Out. That's where that dog's from. But what are they called? They're called the Little Rascals. <laughs> no, they're not. Their gang was called the Little Rascals. <laughs> they're, 
Hey, hey never. On, and, uh, look, when the I original. say the little rascals, you can type in Google. Anybody that will be watching this can That's type like in Google. That's like calling the Wiz the original say, Wizard of Oz. No, it's not. No, no it's not. No. Two different names. No. Two different names. <laughs> exactly. It's two different no. names. Two different names. You can't do that. You can't do that. I see what you're trying to say, but it's that's, that's like me saying what, like, uh, what's the what's the original Alice in Wonderland called? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's like me saying that's Alice the exact same shit. The no. But no, that's no. different though, because those are actually those are actually completely separate movies. Because that's when Alice comes back. That's it different. Means completely separate movies. You watched this 1921. Uh, my dad Did had all, my dad had all the DVDs and VHS. So let me ask you this: Was they racing cars? Huh? Was they mm-hmm. racing cars at the end of it? Like that's what they you, did. You know, there's like Rascals. millions of different movies of these, right? There's like a bunch of them. Yeah. Well, so, there's I, more I, than I'll give one. You, I, I, I'll give it to you that the premise and the storyline is the same. But when I say the Little Rascals, I mean the no, titular the, the, film. They, they, they the took little that Rascals. movie. They based it off these characters. Yes, yes but I mean the titular film, The Little Rascals, little Rascals. That's whatever this was. We're gonna be and it's not the original. That's, that's, that was the whole point of this whole conversation. All right. No, it is the original in our film. Was this, was this, what was this film's title? Huh? What was this film's title? Go, go back. Our Gang. Spanky? Our Gang? What, 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 you want me to click on the Little Rascals? I just want to know. Comedy, what, 23 what seasons. So, so that's not a film. It's not a film either. The Little Rascals, uh, Our Gang. But it's. But that's not a film. That's a TV show. So that's null and void. It's not a film. I say the original. You know, said movie. movie. Is that a film? Yeah. See. Yeah. No. No. These are films. Film this is 1920. Is All or, this is film. Is it a film or a TV show? Though is what I'm saying. It's a film, bro. Everything in 1920. They didn't have TV shows. Did they have TV shows in 1920? Everything. Like, about, they had films. TV wasn't big until like they had TV shows. TV wasn't big till like the 50s. I don't know. Yeah, I don't TV know. Shows. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me I'm lying. You're wrong. You're wrong. I don't know. All right. When did they start watching TV, Darren? I don't know when people started. When did watching. Tom and Jerry come out? That's when they started watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> Do not look that up because that is not when they started watching TV. Let's no look idea. up, let's look up when they start. When did TV shows start first air? And then you'll be good. When did TV shows uh, become popular? No. Start airing. That that so you're trying to out you're trying to outdo the question here. No, I was just asking for clarification. I'm just saying. History of the first television shows were experimental. So periodic broadcast me, viewable only a... within the very short range from broadcast tower starting in the nineteen thirties. These were in the twenties. Fair. But it's still our game. But the, the but, but you know the the character their their gang was the little rascals right you know what let's go to the next topic because I, I, can, I agree with that I agree. yeah I so you, so you, do you some do you submit the the point no it's not the same movie I'm not no I'm not saying it's the same I'm saying it's the original you guys were calling it the original I say it can be the source material for the original film I'll give you that so you, but you so you're not disagreeing that it's not so you're still saying it's a TV show. And not a film. I, what I saw was a TV show. It said 23 seasons. Unless movies are 23 seasons, I don't It started know. in the 20s. Oh. They didn't do TV shows to the 30s. I'm going to agree to disagree with Rob. And this was based, was this was based go, on Darren's uh, Google. Go, go back. Go back to the page where it said 23 seasons. And I don't know, man. It's... So what is this? This is IMDb. Where do where do we see that at? I mean, you went back one more. Yeah, this one was the Little Rascals, nineteen twenty two, comedy, twenty three seasons. Yeah. So, so if this is what you're talking about. This is a TV show, so I, I don't agree that it's a movie. But the TV show could be the source material for the movie we're referring to. I'll agree to that. But if this is what you're talking about, this is not a movie. They're not movies. I I consider these movies, especially for the time. Because everything back then would have been considered a film. Maybe they are films that were put together, short films put together to make episodes. 
know if well, my point was, it's a film episode. because it's before TV shows got made, based off Darren's point that it was before because it was before 1930, because TV shows didn't get started made until 1930. This started in 1922. Oh, okay. It didn't start airing. That's what we looked up. You gotta be very careful. This came out in 1922. So what are we talking? It about? could have been recorded and started being filmed in 1922, but the initial not, release may not have been broadcast. Initial release 1922. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know how it worked. You see what I'm saying? I, is, I says, think I should just admit that I was right. It says 22, 22 seasons. We clearly going to need somebody that, that means was at least eight over seasons. 100 years old to answer this question. That means there were at least eight incredible. seasons before they started airing on TV. Was, oh, no, she was 1930, never mind. <laughs> she wasn't even around. She had no idea. I don't know, man. We're going to have to ask somebody. Put it, put it, in, uh, put it in the comments. Oh, bro, we got, yeah. All right. You, you keep this is, we're, pretty, we're clearly going to clip this and, and, and ask a lot of people because this, this is going to be something that bothers me. I don't know. Oh. Look, what's the next topic again? I don't even know how we got started on this conversation with the little rascals. Because uh, our, uh, Space Jam was not a top 100 movie. Yeah, okay. okay. So I, would still put, I would still put the little rascals. So. Yeah, definitely. I like the little giants. Yeah, I, I love the little giants. I, 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 I do like the little giants. I'm on the Ruski. I'm on the Ruski. I'm on the Ruski. That dude was about to blow a vein, man. The way he was screaming at them kids. What's the next topic? Uh, y'all keep talking. Just, I'm trying to get I mean, this just, on YouTube. He's just fixing stuff. I feel you. Um, what, what movie do you think he's going to be in, though? Tom Brady. He's not going to be in no movie. Why wouldn't he be in no movie? LeBron's not retired. He was in multiple oh. movies. Is that, that cash coming, baby? It's not going to be movies. What's it going to be? He's going to be on like, TV shows. Uh, or TV and movies are that different? Maybe he won't even do that. He'll be on TV. I don't know. He'll he'll do something else. I'll make not even a cameo. You don't think he'll cameo maybe, on the next cameo? He'll be in a cameo. 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 Or a Marvel movie. He'll be in a Marvel movie. He'll play himself. He'll come back from the snap. He'll touch Tom. I want to see Tom Brady. You're going to have to. You're gonna have to when he comes in. He's significant character. He's gonna be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> we got too many Spider Man. You know they said they are uh, bringing back. They're thinking about doing bringing back Toby and uh, Andrew's Spider Man. Into the multiverse. No, nah, well, I think they're just going to do their own thing, but maybe they're going to bring. Yeah, uh, maybe, I'd be dope. I I'd like some closure on. Toby Maguire, Spider Man, because after Venom, like what happened? He just, he just was okay. okay. Obviously, he was still hurt. And when his lady got married, who's one lady? Mary Jane. You sure? Is she? Ah, uh, you sure? I was bothered she survived. Hey man, I don't remember. She survived. His friend died, and it, he was crying because Harry died. Are we talking about Venom? With, or not Venom, uh, Spider-Man 3? Yeah. When he was Venom and he had to fight Venom? Yeah. Harry died? Yeah. Because he was the new Goblin? Yeah, but he died a different way. He got impelled with his... Yeah, that, that, like, Harry like definitely died. Okay. okay. And when, when did Harry Jane die? He didn't die. That's my whole point. That's what I'm saying. He got married and they lived life like. Nice. I don't remember this. You know, I rewatched Spider Man 3. What? I, gotta re- I don't I feel. You don't remember him fighting Sandman and Venom? At the I don't remember Mary Jane living. I thought Mary Jane died. You thought he? You thought they were going to take Mary Jane and his best friend in the same film after he just got cool with his best friend 20 minutes before the big fight just happened? I thought she died. No, bro. What movie did she die in that I'm thinking of? But... She, you talking about Andrews. When? The, the blonde bitch? She yeah. died? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she died. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she died. Oh, she lived. Uh, she Maybe died. I got to mix up. He couldn't, he couldn't uh, say. He couldn't get the... the uh, uh, something like he got in his way. He couldn't, like, like as... Was it like, 
Or he's fighting like with, uh, Jamie Foxx. That's right. That's right. It's coming together now. I actually rewatched the, the. Her name was one. I thought that was Mary Jane. No, it's Gwen. So, so they all got different names. So Gwen, Mary Jane, and MJ. I don't know what their MJ. Her MJ. name's not MJ. Her name's not MJ. Her name's not Mary Jane. It's just MJ. I don't think it's Mary Jane. Is it Mary Jane? Is it Dez? Is it Mary? Is it Mary Jane? Uh, no. Also, is she twelve? She looks like she's twelve to me. I can look it up for you. Today? How old is she? Today is good in her twenties. I'm pretty sure. My yeah. God. I 19. just don't know the age of people. Oh, so they are fine as 19, 19 what? 19 or 20? Oh, uh, they said 19, 20. She was, I was going to say she was uh, not Michelle no, Jones no, Watson. Michelle Jones. Yeah. Who's Watson? That's her last name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's MJ still, though. That's the whole point. But, uh, what would you just All right. Do? So I bought the shut down the stream real quick to bring it right back up so we could go live on YouTube. Yeah, okay. All right, for sure. So we'll be right back, everybody. I was rewatching the Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Which one's into the Spider Verse? That's uh, into the Spider Verse was uh, the animated one, yeah, yep, yep. And uh, Shorty was named Gwen, too. Blonde hair, yeah. And was... in her universe, Peter died, yeah. Peter Parker was her friend, and he died. Boyfriend, it was wild. Frank. Well, wasn't that is that the same one from the Andrew Spider Man? It can't be because she died. All right, I don't know that. And not only that, uh, too many Spider Man. There was a Penny Penny Park Penny Parker. That was was Spider Pig. That was the favorite part. That dude was funny. That dude was funny. He said, "Who you calling?" He, He said. Oh, you two are just gonna call me a cartoon? Okay. <laughs> he beat him down. He said, "He said, did that feel like a cartoon?" <laughs> that was weak. Yeah, we that saw was... that in theaters, and we and the kids were weak. Honestly, I wish I would have saw it in theaters because at first I thought, like, I'm not a big fan of multiverse. Like, you know, so when I first saw, thought about it, I was like, "This is gonna be a terrible film." Watched it and it ended kind of good. You know, you know what happened to his uncle still, but. I think that made it a good film. I still think when I tell you on Tuesdays we're going to go watch movies, you need to show up. Because we watch Bangers. Yeah. Bangers. Yeah. The only movie I'm salty we didn't get to see in theaters last year was House of Gucci. I'm still salty about that. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it yet. We were supposed to go like a month ago, but we never went because Christmas and COVID. And... Hopefully, I'm... Uh... I'm personally trying to see uh, Death on a Now, like I said before, which y'all both should have seen. If y'all saw the Spider-Man movie in theaters, I don't get how neither one of y'all saw it. Which movie? Death on a Now. They promoted this movie. I've never heard of this movie. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a great movie. Uh, Death on a Now and the Batman movie. I'm waiting for this Batman movie. What? Two months? February, March. March, yeah, two March. months. Beginning of March, I believe, or in the middle of March. Oh, let me pre-order my ticket right now, cause I know Fandango be playing around with me. But I'm giving these motherfuckers money. Excuse my language. I'm gonna be there. Oh, you yeah. gonna be there for that movie? Oh, Batman is different. I'm, I'm. That's an opening day thing. Batman is different. The way they had the trailer going, cause I, I had, I watched it, uh, part of the trailer in the Spider-Man movie when I walked was walking to the seat. They were shooting at Batman like he was, it was like, doo, doo, doo. I was like, I think he can block one of them <laughs> with his hands, not just the cape. <laughs> I'm like, who is Batman? Yeah, I'm sorry we didn't get to see House of Gucci. I really wanted to see that. It wasn't that great, but I gotta check it out. I like Jared Leto a lot, so Jared Lee Kingsman, I was supposed to see as well, didn't see. We saw Thing 2. That was cute. We watched it with the kids. It was cute. There was no Kingsman? Yeah, they got a new one. I think it's a prequel, to all of them. Oh, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For one dude who's training them the whole time. Well, Avatar 2 is finally coming out. That's what's up. Yeah, that's going to be fire. That's also first day ticket. You going to go see that too? Absolutely. I don't know when it comes out, though. 
It says I think it's December, right? Uh, December sixteenth. Yep. Okay. Too much time in between. No, I I set a reminder. Forget that. Oh, Jackass Forever is coming out. Yeah, <laughs> I love Jackass growing Did you up. Huh? Would you watch that in theaters? Yeah. Ew, yeah I definitely will. I'll go see it with the boys. I feel like I have seen one before in theaters. I saw we saw Jackass like three thousand in theaters in high school. Or whatever it was called. Yeah, yeah. The one right before or right after homie passed, right? It was right before. Yeah, right before. before. And the uh, whole hangover, hang, the hangover was probably the funniest movie I've yeah, seen. Back I will then. never forget going to the theaters after something. I feel like it was after um, the Cedar Point, whatever. Yeah. Y'all sure enough fell asleep in that while I was sitting there. Sure I, did. I was dying, dying laugh, dying laugh. The That's Batman it. was dying in there. Oh, he got a woman in it. I, I didn't watch, watch the whole trailers. trailers. Oh, no. Yeah, what in it? Is it I, don't I don't know if it's that old or that old yet, yeah, but. I ain't going to tell you. Who oh, man. Who I'm sick. Who is it? Holy Kravis. What? That's Holy Kravis. She grown like this now? Yeah. Holy Kravis. She's, she's fine as hell, too. I'm, I'm getting like old. I'm getting old. <laughs> Turning red. We want to see this with the kids. This looks super cute. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna click it. So, like, uh, this Japanese, not just a Japanese, Asian family, uh, has a curse on their bloodline. Like, once they turn a certain age, if they get emotional, they turn into like a red panda. So, like, there's this 15 year old girl in high school. She's like going through it, and like her friends are being supportive. It's, it's super cute. It's super cute. That's. Uh... We, we like to watch good movies with the kids. You know, yeah, naturally, teenagers are going to hey. I'm excited. Sonic 2, baby. Didn't see the first one. You didn't see the first one? I see the first one. I'm happy they redid it, because the original way it was going to come out was trash. I don't know about that. You like Harry Potter? <laughs> the Secrets of Dumbledore coming up. I'm good on that. You don't like, uh, you don't like Harry Potter? It's not nothing I need to go to the theaters. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, I'm just, like, I can just wait to see it. I'll still wow. be amazed. I'll still be amazed, but I don't need to go to. It. I want to see this Buzz Lightyear movie, or if it's a TV show, whatever it is. I think it's a movie. I could be wrong though. It's a movie. Uh, they made The Rock Black Adam. You, you do that. They've been, he's been the. Uh, they made him Black Adam for a while, for like at least five I years. I. Don't, I may not have seen Shazam then. No, he wasn't in Shazam. He was just well, a cast. And I didn't know. I didn't know that. I'm just looking at it now. That's pretty yeah, dope. I like yeah, it. I was in a couple of years ago. I don't, don't watch trailers or spoilers, I guess. Happily surprised. They got a. Uh... Have you played the. Oh, why can't I find it? Uncharted? They got a movie for Uncharted coming out. Yeah, with Tom Holland. Mm hmm. Yeah, I already seen it. Uh, it look Does they see the movie? No, man. I ain't seen the movie. You know that. Well, I need that website. The trailer. Why, Why do y'all watch trailers so much? Bro, they just pop up. It's you can just... skip them. Or no, you can't. Them. No. You can't. I do all the time. I do it they're all not, the time. They're not ads. They're not ads. They're. Commercials. So if you watching the NBA game, for example, Golden State versus Brooklyn was on last night. You see it on there. I've seen it multiple times. On you watch streams TV. or you watch it on TV? TV. Watch on TV. That's the problem. That is not the problem. I watch those streams and that shit is just dun, 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 dun. and then it comes back. <laughs> I watch no old commercials. You're your your event will be that. It does. It does. Or if I'm watching it. Frowned upon way, uh, just got the cat bobbing his head like this. <laughs> oh, man, what's the topic? Man? What, what we got? I didn't feel as if I had a right to be sad, I didn't feel as if I had a right to not want to be here. I really don't want to talk about this right now. This is too depressing. I, I'm 
Either way. Yeah. If you guys want to do it in two months, no, let's, let's no, let's go to something else. Um, this is fairly long, but I wanted to talk about why Americans are quitting their jobs in record numbers. Um, there was a different video that I sent as well, where they were on TikTok. People were just quitting their jobs over the loudspeakers at Walmart, and they're like, you know, people are racist, people are sexist, blah 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 blah. And this person came. Uh, uh, 60 Minutes decided to make a story about uh, why are people quitting their jobs and people were like, oh, it's because they're getting unemployment. They don't have to work. They don't need to work. Uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, it's COVID. People are afraid. You know, the working conditions aren't safe. But then they found the uh, market, like the data analyst for LinkedIn.com, and they show data on why people aren't going back. The data shows people aren't going back to their jobs that they had pre-COVID because they realized during COVID being still home, not having to work, that they can do better, that their worth of their time is worth more than what it was before. For example, people who are waitresses at no disrespect to this, these places, I'm just top of my head. If you were a waitress at IHOP, and beginning of the pandemic, people were coming in without masks, talking about it's their religious beliefs. You have to deal with that every day. You finally quit. You go home. You feel free. You feel relaxed. And like, oh, shoot. I need a job. So you go online while you're getting these unemployment checks. And you, for example, learn how to code in JavaScript in six months. Now you have a different skill and you go to a different job sector and take a job. It's, it's not, not that people don't want to work at waitress job. People have taken the time, the energy to get out of working there because they don't feel safe, comfortable, or worth shit there. So essentially, what you're saying is the internet being able to all the master classes, the YouTube classes, YouTube universities, and the time that people had on their hands. Basically, I mean, essentially, that's what it is. When you have that much time on your hands and then you'd be like, oh, well, I don't really want to go back to the same thing I was doing. Now I got the skill to do something else. I am not. Some people started businesses, started dog walking companies, started car wash companies. They got themselves a van to power wash windows. That's Why do they got to go to McDonald's if they can power wash windows four hours a day and make six times more than they made at McDonald's in a week? It's living the American dream, man. Now people are out here like, oh, shoot, you know, uh, I used to work at XYZ place, but they cut my hours from 40 hours a week to 12. And now I got to hustle. Now my hustle is making more than this trash job ever was. And they're expanding. But people are still, you know, they say people are still unsure of what's happening. So people aren't rushing back to and put their money back into the economy. And that's what's fucking us. They say, at least. But, but this, this is a definitely a great video. Um, I think you can skip to about halfway, and you'll get to the lady who I'm referring to. Yeah, yeah, right, right about there when she starts talking, and she'll explain it much better than I can. They're not sitting at home. They found other so, careers, other opportunities that fit their there. lifestyle better. What we saw was that when these benefits were turned off, when workers were no longer getting the benefits, they did not rush back to work. Hmm. What does that tell you? That tells me that it's not just a function of the benefits. That's not the only thing that's going on in the heads of workers when they make that calculus about, should I go back, will I go back, and f for what job? So is all of this producing a, a fundamental shift in the balance of power between employers and employees. I forgot that as well. It's as if that social on. contract of work is being rewritten, and right now mm. the worker is holding the pen. There yes. are just thousands upon thousands of available jobs in America right now, mm. and companies are eager to hire. But workers are being very choosy. So employees are kind of in the driver's seat. Employees are in the driver's seat right now. Workers want better pay and benefits, of course, but they're also demanding autonomy and flexibility, particularly in their work schedules. And employers, large and small, simply have to respond. I think flexibility is critical. This is the employee's demand. The employees, they want flexibility. And if you're an employer that won't 
um, that won't work with your employees to to be flexible with them, then you're going to be you're missing out. I mean, you have mm -hmm. to. So is it the case that gone are the days where an employer would say, you're just lucky to have this job? I, I think so. I think so. And I think it's for the better. James Jordan's construction company will pay an employee's tuition if they want to continue their education. Perfect timing. Come on in. So, can and you pause it real quick? moving expenses if they... Um, this, this man, though, he runs a construction company. And he said before the COVID happened that they were doing the best numbers ever. Um, they have so much work, but they don't have the talent. He said that uh, when he finds young, and he hires black people, and, you know, minorities are people of strong report. And he said that there was one young man out of college that he wanted to be a supervisor from. He said for three months, call this man every day to make sure he was okay. Anything he could help that three months, I think three weeks. Make sure there's anything he could do. Pay his relocation fees. Bought him a house. They're paying, taking out. Like, this is what he's going to have to do now. Bought him a house. Uh, not buy a house, but you know how like you relocate people, yeah, like you transfer you, your house or whatever. But like this is what companies are going to have to start doing now for the employees that they need. How do you feel about that? Like if you were an employer and you just can't find good people to work for you, is it is it your fault because of the practices you've instilled and the reputation you've built, or is it here's happening? Here's the thing. I think um. For a lot of the bigger businesses, I think it is exactly that. I think for the newer businesses or business that's already been taking care of their employees, it's not necessarily that. That's the, and that's the, the thing. Pay. Probably the pay for the most part. Well, for example, like that whole Kellogg thing that we talked about before, where people were just upset. Or flexibility as well. So, so it's like a like it's just general respect of the person. Like you don't don't think of them as a number; they'll come back. Right? Is, yeah. is it that simple? For example, I was recently, I was just thinking about this as one of the things that's like when it was talking about flexible for some reason. If you like a parent, you want to see that the kids make it to school, you got to take your kids to school. So you probably not be able to make work till like nine or something. And you got to make sure your kids get out of school at a certain time and be able to pick them up. So let's say you get out of work at like three, but you only work in what, six hours at that time? That's not going to equate to well, the three yeah. hours at the end of the week. You can probably just move. Like move those hours to like weekend. Like, hey, you want to come in the weekend? Two, two hour shifts. Bring your kid in with you real quick. But what jobs allow that? You know, it's crazy. We was actually talking about this uh, when we were kids. This is random, but when we were kids, um, I used to go to my dad's job with him. And he used to drop us off in the daycare. We asked him recently that he had to pay for that. He's like, nah, that was free. See? See? And that's and that'll make him stay. Because why would I leave this job if my kids can come here in the summertime and just come on, man. It's free daycare? That's I don't know a lot of, but that's where I work. They do that as well. I mean, you have to definitely that, think of, you know. And um, there's there's a lot of people I know in my field who are like, hey, you know, uh, company ABC is requiring that we're in the office right now, and they don't feel com comfortable. And a lot of people that I work with in my field who I know are making six figures are willing to go down to five figures to work from home. It's also in the other direction. Hey, and so I, and I get that. I get that. Because if you think about it, if you made that much, that six figures for five years, seven years, you, but you're probably also wore out, wore out. You're probably tired of getting in traffic every day to go to the office, put in suit. And you know, yeah, you proved for two years you're able to do your job from home. Right. Why is it now? That's the biggest thing. There. And that's what a lot of people are pissed off about. Like, hey, if it wasn't safe for two years, why is it safe now? And why what have you done to make it more safe? And not, not only that, how can we be more productive in the office? Because essentially what you're telling people, there's a chance you can be late again. There's a chance there can be yeah. traffic. There's all of that. And you're messing money if I'm not on the clock because there's traffic. No, no one was writing me up for being late when I worked from home. I can't be late. I'm from home. I just got to wake up. But, you know, it's crazy. Uh, it's it's just crazy to me because I know a lot of people who are like senior members in their field and they're just like, it's not worth it anymore. Like, I know people who live in the Ohio and are getting jobs in Germany remotely and working overnight. So they, they have no life or anything, but they're, they're making know? their bread in a different way. It, it, that's, the thing, that's, that's the thing. I'm like, like the internet. Just, they make their own way. The internet evolves everything job-wise. 
it just evolved everything job wise. And now that you know the birth of the internet, like in reality, it's like nineties or something like that. Let's just let's just let's just say in the sense after we went to the moon, it was when we had the internet. I know that. <laughs> but in the sense that uh that it started evolving more and more to where it's at now, it's just it's all over the place. You can do whatever you want. Internet is the new uh gold rush, not the gold rush, uh Wild Wild West, I wanna say. Wild Wild West was right? the gold rush. Is that what it is? Oh well there you go. I mean if you think about it, there was people moving out there in Trump's just trying to get gold, gold and land. The new the new gold is OnlyFans subscriptions. <laughs> Did you know OnlyFans has other things besides adult entertainment? Did not know that. Learned that the other day. They were trying to move off that stigma earlier this year. I did not know that. Good for them. Good for them. Diversifying is definitely key. I don't blame them. There's people who uh, do like chef, like they cook on there and shit. They show people how to cook. It's kind of fire. I, was, I had that idea not that long ago, but for people to come do it for you, like at home. Remember that? Well, probably got to probably got to take that out because I know y'all y'all gonna take that idea. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, only things, the everything, bro, Coinbase, everything. So, if you had a, uh, I forgot we had other topics. I don't want to. I don't want to bleed this topic. Uh, go to the far right one. We already finished this one. Go to the far right tab. All right. Yeah, that's something light hype. Been funny. Alright, so let's go about halfway. Alright, go ahead. So, so, so they say, who's the author, the author of the novel? We can fast forward, we don't really like it. They're all you can part go about halfway. So they say, hey, the answer is A, you know, ask the audience. Fast forward. Yeah. Confused with the author of the book and the director of the movie, right? I'm um, afraid that we really must have seen it too because the movie and the novel are both quite famous. Others uh, dead for love. She, she says she read it three times. He is my final answer. Choose one option over two. In crucial moments, I have less faith in women. Oh wow! In crucial moments, no faith in women. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Like, wow. wow. Right? <laughs> right? Right? Wait, that's what he bases. Tell me, tell me, tell me. That's the that's the author of the book that just gave him the answer. No, so they they're asking for the author of the book, and he says it's between A or B. All the women chose A, and they're like, "I read it three times. I'm 100 percent sure." One man said B, and that was it. And he's like, "Okay, I trust men over women in situations like these." So go ahead and press play for a million dollars. I kind of hope he gets it right. It is the correct answer. How do you feel about that? Is that okay? I mean, <laughs> don't trust women in this. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back. I gotta leave. I, this is our uh, thumbnail. Make, sorry, a, make, a, make a make a make it make a funny face. I'm is, sorry. I mean, no, Darren, make look, a funny face. I mean, I'm not. I don't got nothing wrong with this. I don't. I don't. I don't have no problem with with what he's saying in this situation. I'm actually reading a book. I'm actually reading a book where you're supposed to actually listen to women and listen to what they have to say. But you still have to make your own decision. And that's, that's what that it came down to, bro. If that's what it came down to, bro, I'm surprised. Hold on, Darren. Time out. Doesn't... Time out. Isn't that everybody? He specifically said he does not trust women in moments, in decisive moments. He was he did the exact opposite of what all the women told him. But it was right. One scenario, yes. How, he got to this point when he's on a show where he's answering questions for a well, million wait, dollars. How does she get the answer wrong? She read the question. book three times. I don't know how to question. I think the real question here is how did that woman read the book three times and knew for sure that it was right, the right answer? And was That's right. my she question, yeah. 
That's the That's biggest the problem, if you ask me. The fact that she was wrong is not his problem. How would you read the book three times, though, Darren, and not know the author? She's going to have to go to... She's going to have to go home. She's going to have to go home. <laughs> then again, I've seen The Lion King a million times. I don't know who directed that, so... I've never seen... Never questioned who the director was. Who the director? I have no idea, because I've never questioned it. But yeah, I don't, like... You have to say a movie that... I, I haven't seen Lion King that like that many times. That shit gets sad to me after a while. When his dad dies. It's the saddest part of the movie. Exactly. Mufasa. It's supposed to make you sad. I hold my breath during that scene. I think everybody does. I don't think there's a person that does that. Help! Anybody! Somebody! Oh, I'm watering up. Bro, when Scar comes out and then tells him he's the reason why, that's what really gets me. All the way and I'll come back. Don't, yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, you so, know, Scarf passed away recently. Like, I think they said two years ago. He passed away. Uh, yes, okay, yeah. not the actual yeah. lion. Yeah, 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 I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the lion does exist somewhere, then that'll be some wild shit. Like, How long do lions live? Not that damn long. Not that damn long. Hey, hey Siri. Not that long. How long do lions live? Lions usually live no more than 8 to 10 years because of attacks by humans or other lions or the effects of goring or kicks from intended prey. In captivity, they may live over 25 years. Oh. They can live up to 25 years. Let's not, cap- let's not keep lions captive. They deserve to live, live their lives the way they're supposed to. Yes. <laughs> but we should also shouldn't be going out and killing them. They- what <laughs> animals kick a lion so hard they got to die? A, a zebra? You think a zebra can keep lying that hard? Nah, die. Have you seen Madagascar? The movie? Yeah, do you, a zebra would definitely lose to a lion. In the kick? Yeah. Like if a lion was coming after a zebra and he just hit it with the, his legs? You talking about kicking? An elephant would do a lion. Elephants can't kick. Oh, okay. That's uh, but if you get like a. <laughs> but you gotta remember. <laughs> You, you I bet re- you know, elephants just up here like this. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm talking about kangaroos and shit. <laughs> oh, you gotta remember, uh, uh, female lions are the ones that are most, like, Kangaroos aren't in Africa. I know, but they're the most impressive animal. That's what I was about to say. They are jack. Yeah, they uh, are. Most, th- their tail is a whole nother leg. Is it? Think about oh, yeah. they, they, can, go like that. Yeah. they go like that. that I mean, they don't lose a step. Somebody else has to be behind them to kick their tail up. I'm gonna switch TJ and my phone to Kangaroo because of how he did me. He put you in the pouch. <laughs> <laughs> you put me in the coffin, so he did all 220 pounds of me. Bro, but he didn't kick you. You just bounced. You like, sure? It kind of it kind of looked like you, you sure he didn't kick me? That man probably did. Oh, <laughs> Oh, All right, what else you got for me? Uh, um, a quick one is this. Uh, go back to the the thread. Let me see what the thread says. Scroll up. up, 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 up. Does America have any perks left? Okay, so I was going through this one day, and uh, they were comparing the. Can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. Rob, we can't see it. Give me like two seconds. It's not for kids. So they said, is there any reason to still be in America? So there's a big uh, exodus from America since, from what I understood from this, the data on this uh, subreddit, since a couple a couple decades, a lot of people have been exiting or leaving America to go to different countries, be it Europe, Africa, wherever have you. Um, so one of the popular places to go to is Norway. Uh, so we're going to compare Norway to the United States. Norway is a democratic they they practice democratic socialism. The uh, United States does unfederated capitalism. So the poverty rate in Norway ten percent. America twenty nine percent. Life expectancy in Norway is eighty one point seven years, three or two more than the U S. 
uh, infant mortality is two per thousand births. That is way better than America's 5.7 in the thousand right, let's, births. Let's pause right let here. me let you know, most of those are in African American minorities. Just so you know. Let's pause right here. Um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so, we just slow down real quick. Is that because of abortions? No, the mor- infant mortality being um, when a mother goes in to give birth. Miscarriage? In, no, when a mother goes in to give birth that the child does not successfully come out alive. That's Stillbirth, uh, tangled, oxygen deprivation, uh, staph infection inside of the hospital, which blows my mind. But anyway, uh, murder rate is 0.05 or 0.51 for 100,000, where America's is 4.74, the highest in the world. That's not, that's not, uh, and, is it? It's not. Why is it not? We got Chicago. Okay, okay, well, we're doing per 100,000, so this is I mean, they have the percentages. Do they have the right to carry? Carry so Carry anything? We're just going to go through the list, and then we can, we, can, uh, we can debate. So their GDP is 75.5 per person. Here we are, 59. 70% of workers are protected by unions. 11 are in America. Second happiest country, America is the 14th. Free universal health care, free higher education, uh, unpaid insurance based health care, expensive higher education, no security for seniors in America, and the list continues on. I just am getting to the point now, I'm wondering like, uh, is America the greatest country? Is America the happiest place on earth? Is the American dream still alive? Yeah, but here's the yes, thing. The American what, dream. What, what, what are they not telling you, LA? Who's not telling me? This chart thing. What are they not telling you? You tell me. Let's find out. No, I personally don't got a problem with it. Um, No, we're not the happiest. Um, We're probably the safest. Because of how well one of them. in the sense that if we have a military that is what it is, um, the military can be put on you at any time. Mm-hmm. The military can be sent on you at any time. Is that what you're saying? No, well, no, no. Oh, this is the safest in the sense that you're well protected. You think so? I would hope so. I would hope so. I would hope so, too. If the billions of dollars we're putting in the military, I would hope so, too. Yeah. But, uh, that, and the fact that most citizens got guns. That makes you feel safe? In the sense that it's, it's, um, if, if an exterior power coming into the state. Yeah, now, if you're just talking about the people that actually have the guns. Uh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're, the only thing I can relate to you enough is that I'm another American. Don't shoot me. Because <laughs> that's gonna help. It does no, no. <laughs> All I'm saying is, there's just something to think about. You know, like uh, there's other places that are always going to have better uh, attributes, things, I guess, uh-huh. elements to their society. But for being a America is considered the power, one of the powerhouses of the world, right? It doesn't mean is that you're going to live the happiest life there. But if you're if you're the forerunner of a first world country, shouldn't you at least be top ten of the happiest countries in America in the world? No, because there could be elements of your society that aren't that just aren't that right. Well, you gotta remember the forefathers when they created the yeah. Bill of Rights, they didn't think that this country was gonna get that damn big with that many people, even with a military that damn strong. Like, like, they just didn't. They couldn't see that shit come. They couldn't. They can't see that. They didn't see slaves becoming people. They didn't see women voting. They just didn't see that stuff. If they would have saw that stuff, maybe they would have really changed some of the laws up for the Bill of Rights in a sense. But they didn't. And here we are today. I just, I just think it's something interesting to think about how there are other countries in the world who have free universal health care, higher education. And people are happier, and people in America don't have those things, and people are miserable and have guns. So I wonder at one point if 
of the writing on the wall red. Do you think Americans would trade in? No. Never. No, because they're uneducated. Yes. I think it's uneducation. The de this, what is it called? The de-education of America? I think that's why people, people would rather stick to their guns and their quote-unquote freedoms and free health care and free health care and free higher education to support the future of their country is it, is it where they like our taxes wait, wait 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 before you go into that you also you gotta also understand this country was built on the fact that another country we was built off of being another country so all of those rules the guns and stuff is to protect yourself from the government itself the american government if it gets too much power Problem is, you have so much power that nobody would ever fuck. With. Or you're just probably crazy if you do. Uh, all okay. I know is that something's gonna have to break or bend because it's not happening. Last thing, uh, uh, they they still pushing Joe Biden to erase student loans. I really hope they so. still pushing him. I hope so. He 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 went on. He campaigned on twenty thousand dollars wiped, and I haven't gotten shit wiped. I don't know. I might go for Trump again. <laughs> <laughs> if Trump can do it, I might vote for Trump again. I can do, four years. I can do four more years. <laughs> honestly, honestly, maybe that might not be a bad idea. Ultimately, as soon as that happens, you saw the the housing thing. That would go up a lot more for people because people are. They want to get that shit off their credit so quick. But I'm going to leave that alone. Um, you got anything else or are we good? No, we can go ahead and wrap up. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Purple Pill Podcast. This was episode 55, ep season 2, episode 3. Thank you guys for listening. We'll be back here next week, Sunday. We're going to be live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So come check us out there. Uh, the links are going to be in the description down below. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace. Bye.